Hey. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. As you can see, there's a hole there and there's coal there that I have to get because I forgot. I figured out what's wrong with my birch tree farm over there. Uh, the ceiling was one too low and I couldn't dig up because my chicken farm was right above it. <laughs> so what I did was I moved uh, the birch trees over to here. They had a big enough ceiling and pretty much right after I just stuck them down they grew. Yeah. So, problem. Let's get that coal. Okay. Uh, doop ba doop dee doop where it is where it is there it is well yesterday I finally used up my uh, diamond uh, axe okay that looks to be it and uh, so I'm like oh I'll, uh, I didn't make a new diamond one. Oh yeah, I also used up the steel one I had. Uh, place blocks. <sighs> Fuck a stick. It's over there. I can't get over there. And I used up the steel one. Iron. I, I just want to clear the air. I know in the game it's called iron. But when you smelt iron with coal, you create steel. So you're just going to have to deal with me calling them steel. Anyway, I'd used up. all the uh, the enchanted stuff that I had cool so I went I went back down to the uh, uh, zombie spawner to get a few more levels and I just wanted to use up that freaking sword that I had half gone <laughs> and uh, so I did that used up the sword I got up to like level 9 little over level 9 hot damn pumpkins <sighs> oh I'm off so I'm like okay well I'll just put all this into another iron axe so I did I got I used it up by the way testing it but I got Fortune 1 and Unbreaking 2. I'm like, oh, Fortune 1, hey, great, I'll be able to get more birch logs. I thought, oh, I'll be able to talk about this and I'll be so proud. I was so happy to get it. I thought, and then after I got it, I logged out. And I said, oh, I better go check just to make sure I know what I'm talking about. So I did a few searches. I checked on the wiki and then I checked on the Minecraft forums. And I found out for sure that uh, fortune on an axe, this, this is an axe, this is a pick. Just not to confuse the two. That's off. But fortune on an axe doesn't work the way you think it will. F because fortune itself only works on um, blocks that you get items from rather than blocks itself. Which I knew for picks it would only work on coal 
um, redstone, lapis, um, glowstone, and uh, that kind of thing. So, I'm like, well, shit, dude, you know? That just sucks balls. So in the wiki, it said for an, a for an axe, fortune is only affected effective on nether wart and watermelons. I didn't know it was much faster to farm watermelons with uh, with an axe. I usually just use my hands. I do use an axe for pumpkins. But if you let nether wart grow fully, you usually get three out of it. So, you know, having a looting something seems, or a fortune, whatever, is kind of stupid, but... <sighs> I guess this is all in the on the grounds of testing. So, uh, fortune on an axe is fucking well useless. I do think that's kind of stupid. Supposedly, this is why it's gone now because I was doing all this testing. You can use it to get more apples and more saplings from leaves and of course when you use an axe on leaves you use uh, it uses uh, two times the durability I'm not a happy camper about that I think it's silly What I think should be done is stop stop this playing around with uh, the mystery of things. Just flat out tell us, you know, what does this work on? What is this effective with? Because it's like, you know, I want to know before I waste this to know whether or not it's effective against it, like uh, silk touch on a pick. I mean, how many people wasted time and levels and a pick just to find out? Oh, you can't get this, and you know you can't pick up a monster spawner. That kind of thing. How does that work? I don't know. See, Insta grow. So, we will soon be able to build the uh, birch house. I got it back, yay! Oh, we're waiting for the jungles to spawn. Or drop, I should say. But I do understand keeping mystery in the game, but when there's. when people have tested and. But there's always contradiction. Just just be nice and <laughs> come out and tell people. This works, this doesn't. You see? Can I reach that? No. Any more, any more jungle trees? These need to drop the uh, saplings more often. That's usually what happens. If I'm lucky, I'll get one sapling. If I'm not lucky, well, what's less than one? Zero. I added three chests, which are just for eggs. And then I'll show you what I did over here. I thought about extending this 
Then I had a brilliant idea. I decided to make this um, a pumpkin and melon farm. This is all pumpkins. And if I ever find melons, melons will go over there. And I got my pumpkin lights up, so they're all lit. Yay! So yeah, I've pretty much used up all my diamond stuff. Oh, nope, not in there. This one? No. This one. So yeah, I got four diamonds left. But I really like diamond axes. I had a great one in my last world. Yay! Two, three, four. We got one more red one. And no more brown ones. Progress, mates. Progress. There goes the egg farming. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these eggs. To have, I guess, like anything. They could go there. I'm not going to, but they could. Put this back. Check this shit out. Oh, has not grown. I did go in and get some more nether wart. Yeah, fire, um... Fire potions have, uh... Need either magma cream or slime balls with blaze rods, which means if I want to make them, I'll have to turn on uh, easy and hope to God I find a magma cube or I find slime spawning chunk. And I'm like, do I really need that? <laughs> so it's like, if I fall in lava, if I can't get out, my shit's gone anyway. Uh, as you can see, I went back. Um, this was during one of my frays waiting for another wart to grow. And I pretty much jacked two staircases. <laughs> so. Got all that shit. Let's go in. I did some modifications to our little Neza house. Well. They haven't grown since I planted them. I do have uh, this going. Just in case, you never know. Um, this. This is something you might not know. Alright. Why is there a half step here? Now, when you're on soul sand, you notice you sink just a little. Let me see if I can do it. Alright, I'm looking right there. Now watch. See my cursor dropped a little? And of course you walk slow. So it's, so slow sand is kind of like a half step, sort of, in that you do drop down. So when I made this doorway, I just had uh, left nether rack there. And when I went to jump on it to get through, I shall show you. Okay, that works well. Here. I only had this too high, because why would you need a three high doorway? Now watch as I try and make it. I can't get through, because I'm down half a block when I'm in the soul sand. And in order to transition to a regular block, I have to jump up. And I can't jump up and go forward because this is in the way. Now when I move this, I transition just fine. And I don't know if I tested it with a half with the half slab and the doorway, so let's see. Yep. So soul sand is sort of like you drop in half a half a block. And then this, you drop down a full block. And then you transition normally. So that's why that's there. Groo, I saw you. I saw you guys. I do have more mushrooms out there. And there's some brown ones over there. 
I made some steppies, just in case, for whatever re weirdo reason, I gotta come running back here. I can, uh, run. Like, I'm running from there and I forgot to turn turn it back to peaceful. Oh, gas are shooting at me! Ah! Jink, jink! Bam. Fuck you all. I found some more soul sand. And other than that, everything's go as usual. What I'd like to find is a mine, abandoned mine shaft. Shut up. You annoy me. Shush. I also planted birch trees up here to try to, uh... Oh, I know why these won't grow. Because there's not enough space! Might grow there. I know you won't grow there. Which is a pity, because this is a nice place to have them. I'll deal with them later. Yeah. Move Bessie. Silly cow cow. I finished the bridge. Oh, I'll go plant these on the other ones. So about every five blocks I've got a pumpkin for light. Chip chop chip chop chip chop. But uh, if I'm gonna put rail here. If I can find an abandoned mine shaft, I'll take the rail from there. Cause I don't want to have to make my own and then find it. So, which is usually what happens. And something else I want to talk about was dog and cat AI in the game. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, the cat AI was changed in the one two four update to make it more realistic. <laughs> If you read the patch notes, it's funny. Um, but now cats will act like real cats. They'll... You can't just leave them sitting at your house. And I got this going. There we go! Whee! Put you there. And put you there. But, uh, yeah, you can't leave cats parked at your house anymore. They'll, uh, well, you can. They'll just, just do whatever the fuck they want anyway. If you watched Goods, uh, I think it's called Tragedy. He, uh, paws and paws, his, uh, his, uh, orange tabby came to, uh, visit him. While he was caving! I'm not gonna spoil it because uh yeah so uh you can't just leave your cats at your house or your base anymore because they'll just they'll get up and they'll fucking wander and i noticed that dogs are doing the same thing with the uh with episode three uh no episode two of uh No, three. Of the ultra hardcore. If you watch Kurt J. Mack's point of view. He found a wolf and he tamed it. So he had a dog following him. And when there, when he has long bits of ocean to traverse, he'll build a boat. So Kurt got on his boat. And uh, in order to keep your dog following you, you need to sort of stray near land every once in a while. So they have somewhere to teleport. So Kurt was going along, and uh, his dog appeared near um, a sandy edge. Fucking animals. I'm gonna fuck you. And, uh, and then Kurt sailed on after the dog teleported, and you'd think, oh. I'll just keep going. The dog will teleport to me, which it used to do. His dog never teleported to him, and he was gone for like a day, a Minecraft day, and he's like, where's my freaking dog? This dog is so stupid. 
so he went back, uh, followed his own boat wake, and found the dog. The dog was sitting next to this little bit of beach in the water, so you could barely see him because dogs, uh, dogs have a lighting glitch on them. So, this dog had been sitting in the water for a Minecraft day, just, just chilling. And it did this a few times where it would be following Kurt and all of a sudden it will, it'll just sit down. And the cats act the same way. So, pets aren't just for decoration anymore. They're going to be following you around. An exciting episode, I know. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep farming birch trees. And get a comfortable amount of birch wood. Then I'm going to go over to that island. And I'm going to build my little birch house. And then we're going to build a sh mine shaft straight down. I'm going to do... Um, basically, uh, strip mine it. Do like a... A six by a six by three or a nine by three or something, and dig until we find something or bedrock. Whatever happens. We got thirteen saplings. You're not gonna grow there. You're not gonna grow there. You're not gonna grow there. Whew! Lots of stuff. I did put a few more chickens in here, but I'm not sure. They seem to be doing okay for egg production, but uh, I don't know. No, there we go. So that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to just farm birch trees until they go in out of style. Let's see what's grown. That's grown. I'm waiting for all these to grow and then uh, I'm gonna take down the pumpkin patch out in the my main little garden area. In case you were wondering. Because I don't want to lose stuff. I lost the subscriber. I wish you got notified about that. Something so sick of your shit. Really? Nothing like you have to write a an exit interview. Why do you still? Why do you? Why do your videos suck now? But just you can get a notice of getting um, someone subscribed to you. You know, oh, Carol Kemper is subscribed to your channel. But you don't ever get the, uh... Uh, Carol Kemper has unsubscribed from your channel. It would be nice. Though I do think most of my followers are bots. that tell you? What does it tell you? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I have hard hands. Punch cactus. Mm, do. It's tiny, but effective. 
I don't really need birch trees here anymore. So I will take those down. Wah! Eh! And... Da -da. Over here is my farmy stuff. Farmy, farmy! Now, one day I will open the right chest. That's pretty much all I've been doing. Uh. So watch your dogs, watch your cats, because they ain't going to stay where you put them. Don't be surprised if they show up when you're caving. If you get fortune on an axe, you're kind of fucked. Jesus Christ! That grew three stages! So, yeah. Next time, or in the next video, um, Hopefully we'll have enough birch to... get over to the island and... One, two, three, four, five, six... Six and a half. Actually that might be enough. I'll just... I'll farm a little more today. Off camera. Then... I will push the right keys. <laughs> So I'll farm more birch trees. Then tomorrow we will go to the island over there where we shall build our birch home. An actual house. And then in the basement of that house we shall we shall overcome now. We shall dig a mine shaft straight down. So I will have my supplies ready. I'll probably spend some time down at the zombie spawner, getting some levels to enchant some peaks. Hopefully, we'll find more diamond. So I want, uh, I want more diamond shit. So uh, I'm gonna leave these for three to three Minecraft days or three video sessions and we'll see if we get any more because last time they both stopped at five one two three four five red ones and one two three four five brown ones so we'll leave them as them we will be in this chunk so it will be active and we'll see what happens in three videos we'll check back on them so let's go in here one the video in here I don't like you. There. So I will see you in the next video. Oh, here we go. The outro.